Hello everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I will show you how to achieve this everyday makeup look. I have a lot of products here, most of them are new, so I will be testing them out and let you know what I think. I also have tons of drugstore affordable products and I also have some high-end brands. And without any further ado, let's get started and I will show you how to achieve this everyday makeup look. I start doing my makeup by applying MAC Cosmetics Lip Conditioner. I'm applying it to my lips to hydrate them. And now I'm taking away my hair so it's out from my face. Next I'm using Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer by Good Molecules. And I'm applying it to my face using my fingers. This product is 2-in-1 so it's moisturizer and also a primer. It's supposed to hydrate, smooth and also prep skin before makeup. And it doesn't have silicone. And next product that I will be testing out is new for me, Drugstore Foundation by L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear in the shade 470. And I am applying it using Damp Beauty Blender Original. So first I put foundation to my hand to warm it up and then I'm applying it using Beauty Blender all over my face. I am pressing sponge to my skin, working out all areas and also I don't forget to apply foundation near my hairline ears and also my neck, especially if foundation darker than your skin tone. I am applying foundation using thin layers and also in the areas when I need more coverage, I am applying more foundation, but still using thin layers. I try to avoid applying a lot of foundation in the areas like my forehead where I have fine lines and wrinkles to avoid cakiness. I also apply foundation under my brows and in inner and outer corners to even out my skin tone. Next, I'm using also new to me product Concealer by L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear in shade 360. It has bigger dual foot applicators than I used to, but it's still comfortable to apply concealer. I'm applying it under my eyes and blending it out using damp beauty blender Micro Mini. It is four times smaller than original beauty blender and it is perfect to blend out concealer. I'm also applying concealer on my lid, but without adding extra concealer. I just used what was left on my sponge. I also brighten out my chin and also my forehead between my brows. And then I'm adding one dot of concealer in darkest area under my eyes and blend it out. Now I'll be testing out new product by Stila Cosmetics Complete Harmony Lip and Cheek Stick in a shade Sunkiss Bronze. And to apply this cream bronzer in stick, I'll be using brush from Sephora collection. I'm applying it under my cheeks, on my chin and also near my hairline and blend it out using the same brush. It is so easy to apply and also to blend out the cream bronzer. And to hide pimple on my chin, I'm applying a little bit of foundation using my fingers, pressing it to my skin and then blending out the edges. So now I'll be using my favorite Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade 2 Medium. And I'm using brush by Sigma F10. I always tap excess of powder and then lightly dust over my face. This will eliminate putting too much powder in one area. For my under eye area, I use brush F37 by Sigma. Make sure that concealer is blended out before you apply in powder and didn't settle in wrinkles and fine lines. And for my brows, I will be using pencil by L'Oreal Brow Stylish Definer in a shade Brunette. First I brush my brows using spoolie and then I start filling out my brows using light strokes. For everyday makeup I like to keep my brows on more natural side. I feel in my brows keep in front more lighter than tail of my brows and brush them with a spoolie. And to set my brows, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This gel will help to keep my brows in place all day and also to groom stubborn hairs. Now moving to my eye makeup and I will be using new product from Stila Cosmetics Double Deep Liquid Eyeshadows in a shade Smitten Kitten. They are sold in pairs and they have magnetized tops. I really love that you can separate them for easy storage. So first of all I'm starting by using matte liquid eyeshadow suit shade and I'm applying it to my lid and then blending it out using brush by Morphe and Jaclyn Hill GH 
36. After that, I'm applying one more layer and blend it out. Edges I'm blending out using my fingers. For everyday makeup look, you can stop here. But I will be applying glitter liquid eyeshadows on top. First of all, because I want to test out new product and also because I'm obsessed with shimmers and glitter eyeshadows. So now I'm taking glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows from new Stila Double Deep Duos and I'm applying them to my lid, leaving outer corners, kind of doing cut crease. If you messed out edges, you can use brush like the one that I'm using today, M217 by Morphe. You should still be able to see matte eyeshadows on top and also in outer corner. Glitters always make any makeup look more fun and more glamorous. Doing the same on my other eye. And if you don't want to apply glitters as I did today and cover your entire lid, you can just add a little bit of sparkle just using the brush and just add it a little bit to the center of your lid here and there. And now I'm using again matte liquid eyeshadows, suit shade, and I'm applying them under my lower lash line for about two-thirds of my eye using the applicator. And then I'm blending it out using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush GH38. Today I will also test out Huge Extreme Lush Mascara by Stila. Don't forget to take out the excess mascara from the brush before applying it to your lashes. So this mascara should give my lashes volume, length, and curl. Even though this mascara is not new, but I'm using it for the first time today. And by the way, Stila just released waterproof formula of this mascara. When I'm applying mascara on my top lashes, I'm looking down. And this way, you will avoid to touch your eye makeup with mascara. And by the way, if you accidentally touch your makeup with a mascara brush, don't worry, don't touch it and let it dry. And then just carefully remove it when it dried out. This way you will not smudge out mascara all over your makeup. And when I'm applying mascara to my lower lashes, I look slightly up. And just look at this difference. I think this mascara is perfect for everyday makeup look, when you don't use false lashes. So now I'll be using another new product by Stila, Complete Harmony Lip and Cheek Stick in the shade Sheer Lilium. This cream blush I'll be applying using brush by Sigma. And I slightly smile and apply blush to the apples of my cheeks. With cream blush you can achieve different coverage, from sheer to more full and bright. They are also perfect for people with dry skin or if you want to achieve wet makeup look effect. And another benefit is that you can also use this product not only on your cheeks but also on your lips as lipstick. You can apply it with your fingers or with a brush like I'm doing today with dual fiber brush that has both synthetic and also natural bristles. So now let's move to highlighter and today I'll be using Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter by Fenty Beauty in the shade Hustle Baby. This shade is very beautiful, it is peachy champagne shimmer. And by the way, this mini highlighter I bought at Sephora in a set with mini lip gloss. And I'm applying highlighter using brush GH09 by Morphe. First I'm applying it by using dry brush just to see how much glow it will give. And then I wet my brush using Spray Fix Plus by MAC Cosmetics to add even more glow. After that I'm using brush GH42 and I also wet it with Fix Plus and I'm applying highlighter to my inner corners and also to one third under my lower lash line. Now moving to my lips and today I'll be testing out two products by Milani. So first of all, I'm lining my lips using Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade 3 Nude. And then I also fill my lips with this pencil. After, I'm using Color Statement Lipstick also by Milani in the shade 26 Nude Cream. This lipstick is creamy and gives full coverage. And this shade is perfect for any neutral lipstick lover and also for everyday makeup. And to finish my makeup, I'm applying Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray all over my face. 
So now I'd like to share my first impressions with all of the makeup products that I tried out and tested out today. So first of all, I started doing my makeup by using this lip conditioner from MAC Cosmetics. Absolutely love this lip conditioner. I usually use this every day when I'm not wearing any makeup just to hydrate my lips. And also when I'm using makeup, this is the first step of my makeup routine. Next product that I tried and tested out was this Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I really like how it makes my skin very hydrated, but it also smooths out my skin. I really like this moisturizer. I will be continue using it, especially because it is silicone free. I will be testing out with other products, but so far I like it a lot as moisturizer and also as primer. Another new product that I tried and tested out today was this L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. So this is new foundation for me, I just recently bought it and I got myself shade 470, which is slightly darker than my current skin tone. I bought this shade for me for summertime. So when the sun will come out and I will have some tan, this shade will be perfect for me for summer. But let's talk about the formula. Actually, I felt in love with this foundation. I love how much coverage it has. It has full coverage. I also like how it was easy to apply, how it was easy to blend. And I also like that it doesn't settle in my pores or my fine lines and wrinkles. So far, I love this foundation a lot. I will continue testing it out and trying it out and also see how it will wear throughout the day in different weather conditions. But so far, I think this can become my favorite drugstore makeup foundation. I also tested out concealer, which is new for me. This is L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. So I got myself shade number 360 cashmere. So same as a foundation, I really enjoy this concealer. It gives good coverage. It also was easy to blend and apply even though the Dofit applicator was kind of like slightly bigger but it still was easy to work with so far my first impression I love this concealer a lot so next new product that I was testing out that was just released is this Stila complete harmony lip and cheek stick so I use the shade sun-kissed bronze as a creamy bronzer today and I felt in love. Oh my God, this product is so creamy. It was so easy to apply and also to blend out. If you're looking for something for every day to have that sun-kissed look, this is incredible product. I love that it doesn't have that full, full coverage where you just have streaks on your face and you have to blend it out, but it gives you that beautiful sun-kissed glow and sun-kissed look absolutely fell in love with this product. Of course, I need to test it out more and try it out, but so far I love it a lot. I think this is perfect product for like no makeup or everyday easy makeup look. If you doesn't want to have like heavy contouring, this is product that will change your life. And by the way, I use brush, but you can also use your fingers. So this product was specifically made for easy use and easy application. So another new products from Stila, Double Deep Liquid Eyeshadow. So one of them is Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Another one is a matte formula, Suit Shade Liquid Eyeshadow. And oh my God, this is absolute must have. So I love that they have like magnetic tops, so you can stick them like this together, but you know, a lot of companies release these like products where you have glitter and matte eyeshadows on both ends. I love that this time you can actually separate them. So it's very easy to put it in your makeup bag or to store it in your vanity. I absolutely love the packaging and also the formula is amazing. If you already used and tried Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows by Stila, you know what I'm talking about. They're my absolute favorite, but recently I also felt in love in a matte formula that was released in fall. I just use a brush, but you can also blend it out with your fingers. I specifically choose this shade today, Smitten Kitten, which is perfect for everyday eyeshadow look. I think that this shade is perfect for something like special occasion if you have like prom birthday or even wedding this shade is gorgeous and this is my absolute favorite neutral pair again this was shade smitten kitten so next product that i also tried out and tested out today was this mascara from stila this is a huge extreme lash mascara this is not a new product from stila this mascara already exists actually they released another magnum triple x mascara last fall and i wanted to test out this formula and compare it to magnum triple x but oh my god 
This mascara is amazing. It gives a lot of length. It also gives you volume. You can just look at my lashes. You don't want to apply any falsies when you have lashes like this. And by the way, they just released waterproof formula of this mascara. So if you have not tested out to try out this mascara, I highly recommend. It is absolutely amazing and I feel like this mascara will replace my favorite Kush mascara by Milk Makeup. But for sure, I will test it out more and compare it to Magnum Triple X, to Kush mascara and also my another favorite Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I will compare them all together and see which one I like more, but so far I love it a lot and my lashes speak by themselves. So another product that I also tested out and tried out from Steel actually, I just realized it was a lot of products from L'Oreal and also like Steel Cosmetics. So I also wanted to test out another their Complete Harmony Lip and Cheek Stick. So I wanted to use it as a blush on my cheeks. So I use the shade Sheer Lilium. I think the shade is perfect for everyday use and I absolutely love it. I was like so shook how it was applying and also the pigment that it has. It gives me enough blush on my face. I absolutely love this color. And again, same as bronzer, I highly recommend. I will continue testing them out and trying them out. I didn't use highlighter today, but I feel like I should. I don't know why, I just wanted to give like high variety of products. I wanted to test out another products, not just like Stila products, but oh my God, I love this product a lot. And I absolutely love to use cream products because when it is like winter time and it's more drying out, these products will not dry out your skin even more. Or during the summer months when you don't use any foundation and you just want to add extra color to your cheeks, cream blushes are perfect because they blend out so easily and so affordably and they look beautiful on the skin. And by the way, this product was made for easy application and easy blending. I apply today it with a brush, but you can also just use your fingers. So another product that I use today is this highlighter by Fenty Beauty. So this highlighter is actually from Mini that I got at Sephora. It was coming together with a lip gloss. And this one is a kilowatt freestyle highlighter in shade Hustler Baby. I absolutely love this formula and also this shade. It kind of has a little bit of bronze and also golden in it. So I think if I would use something like golden eyeshadow or like more bronzy color on my eyes, this highlighter will look even stunning. But it gives beautiful glow and it looks so beautiful on the skin. I absolutely love this highlighter. So another two new products that I tested out and tried out today is these two products from Milani that I used on my lips. So first of all, I was using Color Statement Lip Liner True Instant Color in the shade 3 Nude. Absolutely love this lip liner. It was so easy to apply to my lips. It was glides out like so smooth and perfectly and it was also very easy to fill in my lips. And after that, I use also lipstick by Milani. So I use the shade number 26 Nude Cream and this one is a color statement lipstick. I know they also have like matte formula, but I specifically bought myself more like creamy formula. So first of all, I absolutely love this shade. I think it's perfect for every day. This is a gorgeous nude shade. And if you like nude lipstick, you will fall in love with this shade. I also really like the formula. It is so pigmented and it was so creamy. It glides on so smoothly. Of course, I need to test it out and see how long it will stay on my lips and how it will perform. But so far, I love both the lip liner and lipstick. And last product that I use, this product is actually not new for me. This is Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray and this is my absolute favorite high-end setting spray. If you want something that will prolong wear of your makeup and also make it stay in place all day and all night. That's why it has this name All Nighter. So this is all the products that I wanted to talk about today and share my first impressions and also talk about my all-time favorites. I really hope that you like this everyday makeup look and also I tested out a lot of products that were from my makeup vanity. If you haven't seen my recent video when I organized my everyday makeup drawer and I took out all the makeup and put a lot of, of these products over there to use for my everyday makeup. I will put a link in my description down below and I also will put in my description links for swatches. I have swatches of Complete Harmony, 
cream sticks. I also have swatches of all of the shades that Stila released, the double deep liquid eyeshadows. So if you haven't checked them out, I'll just put a link in my description down below so you can take a look. And I also want to take this opportunity and just hope that you all stay home and you take care of yourself and also your family. I think it's very important in these hard times to stay positive and also to keep yourself busy. I keep myself busy by cleaning out my house, organizing everything. It is amazing time to declutter your wardrobe and also your makeup collection. You also can take this opportunity and to learn how to do makeup you can just apply it and wipe it off if you don't like it if you're not leaving your house and you messed up with your makeup nobody gonna see it it is also amazing to learn out new recipe or maybe to start a blog or youtube channel i wish everybody to stay positive stay busy and stay at home thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye